Welcome to my knowledge. In today's video, we will discuss how to make a gear, a spur gear using AutoCAD and then how to render it. So let's begin. We will go to AutoCAD 3D model workspace. Here we will draw the outer circle of the gear. Circle uh, will be 0, 0, as a center and the circle will be 140 in radius. Now zoom this circle. Next step after this will be to draw another circle which will be equal to the pitch diameter of the gear and this is around 130. Now third circle that will represent the base of the gear from which the teeth will originate and this will be equal to 117.5 units. Now draw a horizontal line starting from the center till the outer circle. Horizontal line will be equal to 140 units. Now I will pattern this line twice the number of twice the number of the teeth as number of teeth are 26 i will pattern it in polar 52 times in this way i will get the arc of each teeth so i will change the items to 52 because i want 26 number of teeth this is the trick if you don't know the width of the teeth you can use this method. Now I will trim all the extra lines and arcs. Trim off the base circle. Just leave one arc and this arc will represent the width of the teeth that we will be drawing. Now again I will pattern this arc about this point. Uh, the item number of item now will be 26 because I want to make 26 number of teeth. So here we have the base circle. Now close the array. After this, we will draw a horizontal line again, intersecting this arc or touching its end. Now we will uh, we will draw another line using copy command. I will copy this line and copy it from this point and will move vertically downward using ortho and place it here. Now I have the width of the teeth. Now to find the center point, I will draw another vertical line till this point. The midpoint of this line will be the mid of the teeth. So join this line. Now I will offset the middle line at the distance of 3.5 units just like this. Click on it and move the cursor then click again. If you don't know how to offset, I have add, added a link of a video in which I have discussed offset in detail. Trim these lines, select the arc and trim the excess lines. Now 
now using three point arc select this point then this one and the base this represents one side of the tooth now I will select this point again now this point and the base one so now tooth of the gear is ready I will pattern this to turn in it into 26 number of teeth now erase this line all the excess lines will trim the rest of the excess lines we are good to go now delete this we don't need that and if we trim the outer circle as well using these two arcs we will have one single tooth left now by using polar pattern select all these go to polar select the center around which I want to ok now enter 26 items and the teeth are ready ok now we will close this now draw another circle in the center this circle will be 50 units after this I will draw a slot this is basically for a key or you can call it a keyway it is used for mounting the gear on a shaft so to make a keyway you must know the width of the key I am assuming all the dimensions but you can make it uh, accurately if you have some dimensions designed so move 54 and then reconnect it delete excess lines now we can trim excess lines in order to get our keyway delete this one now we have the base of gear ready for extrusion we will use press pull command to extrude it up to height of 50 units now let's see the gear a few more uh, details a few more details will be added now we will draw two more circles the first circle will be 70 units and the second circle will be around 100 units now rotate the model to see the circles clearly go into shaded now we will press pull this area up to 5 units 
So we have a nice little step to make the gear look more realistic. After that, we can move these two circles to the top as well. Hide object. Now we will go to move command. Select these two circles and we'll move it in Z direction up to 50 units. Now again, we will unhide the object and press pull it. We'll press pull it downwards up to 5 units. So that's it, the gear is ready. You can see it in realistic view as well. For, for learning how to render it, keep watching the video. That's it for today's modeling. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe my channel. Allah Hafiz. Thank <laughs> you.